All right, so we're just going to use Lion Tamer on this on this one. We can literally pull anyone out of cover with this, and then basically just just kill them. That guy is probably going to die now. Maybe. Look at how much. Look look at the, you. You see this? You see this? What what what? That's exactly what I was talking about. Hello and welcome back to Empire of Sin. And in the very small series that we had beforehand, or should I say short, we uh, kind of had a bit of a game over situation. So we're going to be playing with a different character this time around. And we're going to be approaching things from a much better perspective, at least in my opinion. And we're going to be playing with someone that you may not think that I'll play as, but we're going to be playing as Maggie Dyer here. And uh, I believe someone actually mentioned her in the comments. And I personally feel like her boss ability is actually looking really fun as well. Target an enemy character with your whip, drawing them to a nearby tile. Deliver a devastating punch once the target is in range, dealing damage and knocking them down. This could be an absolutely fantastic ability. Obviously, they do have a, an Empire bonus as well. The Speakeasy Raid chance being reduced by 25% is something I'm very interested in. And we're going to be playing with the exact same settings that we did last time. I was actually thinking of maybe playing on the underboss difficulty. But I'm thinking maybe... Maybe yes, maybe no. I actually don't even know what this does, you see. That's the thing. It doesn't give me any kind of tooltip or whatever. So we'll just continue playing with Lieutenant for the moment. And this time around, I will not be attacking the enemy's main base in the first, what, month or something. Because that's exactly what I did in the previous series. And it didn't, let's just say it didn't go very well, you know. It didn't go very well at all. So we probably want to be a little bit careful about that. Anyway, let's take a look here. All right, so obviously we've got the same amount of people that we uh, had beforehand. And I think I'm probably going to be taking different characters this time as well. I'm going to be taking um, Hugh Miller here because he is a melee focused character. And personally, I feel like it would be quite fun to play with melee this time around. And uh, I think we're going to play with Maria Rodriguez because I'm going to try and pick the people that I haven't picked beforehand. So we're going to take him first. He already comes with a shotgun and a revolver so he's looking pretty good actually so let's hire him right now there we go let's get him and we, uh, yes i would like to choose a talent for him thank you very much okay taunt nearby enemies forcing them to target you when used gain 40 percent damage re resistance to all incoming damage that's insane uh yes I will definitely take the taunting one. Thank you very much. And we'll take uh, Maria Rodriguez as well. She's, she can use a submachine gun. I think that is going to be quite fun. What is she actually good at, though? It seems like she's pretty good at melee, hilariously enough. So I guess we're just going to be recruiting her as well. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll select... Ooh, a sweep sounds fun. Fire a stream of bullets over the target area with a chance to deal damage to any target caught in the area of effect. Yeah, I'm going to take that. That sounds like a fun idea. And I think she does have Hair Trigger. Yeah, so, okay. Hair Trigger is an ability that it could be construed as a negative. But I've had Maria in the past in, a, uh, in another save of mine. And Hair Trigger has activated. And she has just murdered everyone in the vicinity. So as you can see... Whenever this person's HP or an ally's HP drops below 25%, there is a chance that they'll lash out and attack a random target. Alright, so when I've seen this happen and indeed activate, she kills everyone in the area. That's it. She just kills everyone instantly. Absolutely crazy. Alright, so I think we're, we're pretty fine with their names. I think we're pretty fine with the names, so I'm not going to rename them or anything like that. Maybe, maybe I will. It really depends on what kind of personality and what kind of um, situations they get themselves in as time goes on. All right, so we do have some thug buildings around us right here, as you can see. And we probably... Uh, that's, the, that's the safe house over there. All right, so it seems like we are actually going to have to head into a difficulty two building almost immediately, which is a little bit problematic for me. I didn't really want to have to do that. But this is where we currently are, by the way, as well. In my previous 
series, I was in Little Italy. And this time we are in the South Loop, which is all the way over here. And as you can see, they prefer top shelf and all that stuff. So let me actually just have a quick look. Where am I now again? I'm down here, right? Yeah, okay. So what do I have? Do I have anything? All right, so I have a speakeasy. I have a brewery and I have the safe house, of course. So let's see what we can actually do here. So I will uh, make top shelf. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try and make that immediately. That's a, a good idea. At least I think so. And we are going to try... Ah, uh, yeah, we can't do that, unfortunately. We need to wait until we produce a little bit of that. But what I could do is I could upgrade ourselves and indeed then get higher quality stuff, which might make sense, but I'm not sure whether it's going to be that useful considering I would like to build something almost immediately upon taking one of these derelict buildings. So I think first off, we're going to travel over here, fast travel right over, and then we're going to try and attack the derelict building. This is a much harder start than what I was uh, greeted with in the past. And I'm not entirely sure. Oh, look at him. What? Did you see that? Maria. Maria just absolutely slaughtered that guy. Without any, any, <laughs> without any hesitation whatsoever. She just absolutely murdered him. All right. Well, uh, good, I guess. That's, uh, that's absolutely fine with me. And now this is where things are going to get a bit dicey. Because they're in pretty good defensive, uh, defensive um, circumstances right here. So this is maybe going to be a bit problematic. Hmm, I'm actually not sure what to do. I guess we'll fire, and a 35% chance is decent enough, but I, I, you know what? I kind of want to get into melee, to be honest. I kind of want to get into melee and do some massive damage here, but uh, that doesn't seem to really be uh, wanting to happen right now, so I'm thinking, you know what? Let's just move over... Mm, let's move over here so that we don't get shot from that guy. And then I'm going to just put literally an overwatch. Assholes. Whoa, there's a lot of thugs. Okay, there's a lot of thugs. Oh, look, he's coming. He's coming with a crowbar. Are you serious? You ca Are you serious? You can't do that to Maggie. Thank you very much. Oh, that is not very nice. All right, well, we're going to make him pay. Aren't we, Maria? Yes, let's do this. All right, so uh, let's have a look. So, yeah, she will literally just kill this guy. Ooh, almost, almost. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, that guy's going to use a first aid kit on his buddy. Look at that. A lot of people have been saying that the AI in the game is not that good, but, I mean, I I did have a situation in my previous series where, where they actually proved themselves to be very good at what they were doing. They were assisting each other. They were basically cutting off our retreat. They were doing all kinds of crazy, cool, tactical, and strategical options. And I wasn't able to counter them. Obviously, I did attack the enemy base a little bit ahead of schedule. Let's let's just say that. So that wasn't particularly good. But anyway, uh, let's see now. So if I melee here, does this actually... Wait a minute. I could do this. What? That does 60 damage? Are you serious? Okay, let's do it. That is hilarious, and I like it. All right, yeah. Let, let, let's uh, let's do some more. Uh, let's, do, let's do some more fisty cuffs. Boom! Nine damage. It only does nine damage. Oh, that's kind of a shame. It's probably because we're unarmed. You know, if we actually had something in our hands, then I think we would have a much easier time actually murdering people in melee. But obviously, there's a good amount of time for me to. Um, Think about getting one of those. Like, for example, these crowbars, they deal 18 damage, which I think is is much better than what we're currently using, of course. So let's just do some damage. Hopefully kill. Nice. Good kill right there. We do need to thin them out quite considerably to actually make a dent in their numbers at the moment because they have still three enemies still remaining here. So a little bit worried. A little bit worried. But this is the first step, you know. This is just the first step. And uh, that, look at this. Our main attack only has like a four or three turn cooldown. That's pretty cool. All right. So, hmm. I'm actually not sure where to go from here, to be honest. Maybe we want to go over here. Don't really want to do that, to be fair. I think that's not really going to work out too well. So I'm thinking, I think I'm just going to do an overwatch. And hopefully they'll walk into it. This guy is literally going to go straight out here. 
He's a tank, he's built like a tank, and we're gonna just shoot this guy right in the face. Boom. Oh, I was hopeful for a critical right there. If I'd gotten a critical, then maybe that would have resulted in a nice kill, but no such luck. We do have some first aid kits as well, by the way, so if we do need to, we can, of course, utilize them. But at the moment, I don't think we really need to worry. I think Maria will take care of business here. Or not. <laughs> I jinxed her, you know? That, yeah, that was what was going down there. I completely jinxed her. Ow. That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Okay, well, hopefully uh, Mr. Miller will not go down here. Oh, he is going down, but thankfully that's fine. Look at this. This is exactly the reason. Look at that. Now her hair trigger is activated. Okay, so is, does that mean anything? anything's gonna happen here? I actually don't know. It doesn't seem like it at the moment. All right. Well, let's just continue to fire. Nice 17 damage. And we're gonna have to eliminate that guy standing next to Hugh. There we go. There's her hair trigger. Yeah, look at that. Look, look, you see what you see what I mean? You see what I mean about this? Look at that. She just killed both of those guys without me having to do anything. And that's what I mean. That's why I feel like that is a super, super powerful ability. All right. So let's use that on him. And Maria will be able to deal with the last guy, no doubt. I've got all the faith in the world in her. She is just so incredibly powerful when she gets mad. Absolutely. And I think I might actually use another first aid kit just to try and prevent myself from dying again, if needed. He is gaining some morale as a result of this as well, which is pretty good in my opinion, so that's not too bad. Alright, so yeah, she's not going to be firing again in that kind of fashion, unfortunately, but... We can, of course, just move her, and then hopefully we'll get an opportunity. We might have an opportunity to kill this guy. Oh, we did hit him a, li a little bit, a little bit. You know, that's all right. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, Mr. Thug? You're not actually going anywhere because you're going to die. And punch him. Boom. That is 60 damage guaranteed every three or four turns that is actually kind of insane and there you go we were able to do that and our lieutenants have been leveled up which is nice all right so we can make a brothel or we can make a speakeasy i think we're probably going to be making a speakeasy here primarily because i think that more than likely we're going to be able to get brothels from whoever our opponent is in this area and so I won't have to build them okay so we can rename this I have no idea what to call this to be honest uh, uh, the big top I guess because we're part of the white city circus so that kind of makes sense right does it <laughs> maybe it doesn't maybe it does all right so now now I should be able to go over to alcohol here and we can all right. Okay, so they're making... Okay, so that's the brewery, and that's that. Okay, so every, everything seems to be okay. Wait, wait a minute. Where Where is this? Because it, it's not showing it on my uh, little screen here. So maybe we need to go out onto the world map or something like that to actually have that uh, be recognized or something. But anyway, let's just exit. And hopefully... Oh, it's raining. Ah, of course. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. All right, so now let's have a look at this. Okay, so... All right, so here we go. Yeah, look at this. This is literally giving us 534 income. That is insanity in comparison to the soldier's rest. I have no idea how it's actually able to do this, but it is doing it amazingly. Absolutely amazingly. So I'm very, very pleased that we were able to take this. Maybe it was because it was a 2 out of 5 difficulty rather than a 1 out of 5 or something like that. But yeah, we're going to be gaining a very significant amount of money over time. So I'm very happy with that. All right, so what's going on here? Available racket. Vacant buildings can be purchased and turned into rackets. Well, could have done that. But obviously not anymore. Ah, unknown building. Let's have a look. Who is this owned by? No doubt it's owned by someone. 
Aha. Must be joking. Right, here we go. Okay, so we meet the faction that we're probably going to have to start murdering relatively soon. So I'm going to threaten him, actually. I'm going to say this neighborhood doesn't belong to you. You need to get out. All right. Well, apparently he had nothing to say to that. And maybe we're going to be fighting these guys. I'm actually not sure. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. And how are we doing in terms of HP? Seems like... Uh, it seems like it's alright, it's alright. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at the black market, because I do have a little bit of cash, and I could potentially sell some stuff as well. So if I do find something that I'd like to use, like for example this Bowie knife, I'd love to be able to use this. And this is something that I'm going to be aiming for, one of these kinds of weapons. Gonna try and aim for this as soon as possible, because Maggie, believe it or not, is actually a... A uh, huge melee user, as you can see right there. She actually has really good melee skills. And I'd love to be able to pay the bills with those things. So, hopefully, we will be able to do that. And what else is going on here? Okay, so, uh, it seems like uh, Hugh is much better at using his guns. Even though he's only got 65 marksmen, which is not exactly great. And Maria, amusingly enough, while she is amazing with her SMG, she's not that good that marksman, and she's much better at melee. So we might have to give her a melee uh, melee weapon as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Can I unequip this? Yeah. Okay, so I can unequip that. That's fantastic. So basically what I'd like to do is I would like, if at all possible, uh, I'd like to buy uh, two first aid kits. And what is this? Is this something that I can indeed sell? And not sure at this time. Uh, this is actually better. I don't know actually about that. But what I would like to do, as I said before, is I'd like to buy some first aid kits. So we will buy both of these. And now we have 137 left. So let's go over to sell mode. And now we can sell this rifle, which I think I'm going to do for 500. And I would like to be able to sell the other things as well. So let me see. Um, I can sell the... Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is good. Can sell that for 500. Going to sell it. Going to sell this too. And I'm going to be pretty, uh, pretty strict about selling stuff. Because I'd like to make as much money as possible. And if we can deal with the lesser gear that we currently have equipped for ourselves, then that's what we're going to try and do. So I will unequip that for Hugh as well. And let's try and sell... Ah, uh, yeah, try and sell... Oh, I can't sell that. Okay, apparently I can't sell that. Okay, well, that's good to know then, I suppose. And otherwise, we're just going to be equipping the first aid kit on Maggie, and we also want to equip one on... You. There we go. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. That is looking pretty nice. All right, so let's have a look. So this is a brothel right here. And I think it would be pretty good for us to take this, uh, if at all possible. Oh, look at this. These guys have an extermination agenda. So I assume they're probably going to be attempting to attack us. So if I just go around here real quick, we might have a bit of an issue. Let's see what happens, actually. I'm going to be interested to see what happens. Because if they go up against us, then they've got to be prepared to basically lose one of their guys instantly, thanks to our lion, lion tamer, uh, la, 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 if I could speak, lion tamer ability. Right, okay, so they apparently don't want to. So, all right, that's absolutely fine. So I'm actually going to go into the brothel then, and I will be attempting to take over. <laughs> oh, yes, let's do it. All right, so uh, where are the guards? There's one. Mm, I'm trying to figure out where the other one is. Where's the other guard? Is that it? Is there is, there, is there only one? I'm only seeing one at the moment. There's a bartender. Ah, oh, there's two. There we go. Okay, so there's the other one. All right, so... Ah, oh, there we go. Hugh has actually learned his new talent. That's fantastic. So that means he can draw all enemy fire. Reduces all incoming damage by 10% while in cover, but increases it by 10% while not in cover. Right. And you're also now trained to equip and use rifles. Overwatch is now triggered by enemy movement and enemy actions. Gonna go for Bulwark, I think. To try and uh, increase 
his um, toughness, I suppose. And I believe we're also probably now going to be getting um, some available stuff going on here. What's this? Available racket. Okay, well... Ah, this is an available racket building. Well, yes, of course. Thank you very much. Indeed. Okay, so yeah, let's let's look inside. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let us... Where's the guard? There he is. There's one of them at least. Okay, so we're just going to go in here, actually. And we will ambush this one. <laughs> Uh, yes, we will literally just use Lion Tamer straight away against this enemy right here. And boom. 60. Oh, I just, I can't get over. Look at that. Boom. Immediately. Immediately. That is so, so cool. Okay, so where's the last remaining guard? I actually can't. Ah, there we go. There he is. All right, so let's uh, let's just move Maggie all the way over there. Why not? I mean, we might as well dash, get into full cover. What is this guy going to do now? He really can't do anything, can he? He's going to be just frozen in fear. Oh, there's actually another guard available, but I don't know where that one is. Ah, there. Okay, good to know. So let's put Maria around here just to cover our backs, just in case the guy decides to come over. Oh, is he actually... What? You're using a melee attack against Maria? That is not a good idea, sir. You're going to regret that. Alright, so shotgun blast. That's going to do quite a bit of damage, unfortunately. Because it does deal damage in a cone to everyone in the area. Which, of course, is going to be quite damaging for us. But, I don't think that's too bad. Do you see this guy sitting here? He's sitting here in mid-air. Look at that. <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Okay, so, what I would like to do is I would like to go around here, if at all possible, but I don't seem to have enough movement points to be able to do it, so I guess I'm just going to... I'm actually not sure what to do, to be honest. Maybe I can go go like so. There we go. Let's shoot him. And then Hugh is probably going to be using Draw Fire. I feel like this is going to be really good for us. So I'm going to use Draw Fire right now. And then we're going to be firing at him or this guy. 55% chance, 60% chance. Doesn't really matter either way. There we go. 55% chance was enough to get the hit. And now I'm thinking, I'm not entirely sure what to go for here, to be honest. I think we'll probably just go for... Mm, I don't think it really matters. I think this guy is going to use his melee weapon no matter what. So let's just move around here. Try and kill him. Nice. Yeah, this guy seems to be kind of like stuck. It, he's stuck in the sitting animation. You see that? <laughs> that is actually hilarious. That is really, really hilarious. Okay, I'm going to use melee here. Just purely for the fact that I, I think it suits her, her character thematically. So I kind of would like to do that. And we'll just do 100% chance with that. 42 damage. Look at that. He's sitting in the wall now. We're shooting his kneecaps. I guess that kind of makes sense. And there you go. He's done. And we have now taken over the brothel. Very nice indeed. And look at this. We actually gained a uh, pretty decent... Pretty decent weapon. Which I will indeed be selling once again. Let's take it over. It's going to take it over for zero. Adam and Eve. I, You know what? Uh, I'm actually not sure what to call those, to be honest. What about uh, Lion's Den? There we go. Because I'm trying to go for, for circus-related stuff, but, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to come up with stuff like that. Anyway, all attacks made against flanked or exposed characters gain an additional 20% critical hit chance. Mm, strike and move is really good. Uh, I think I'm going to go for Guile. Because having that 20% increased critical hit, especially with submachine guns and stuff like that, it's going to be very, very important for Maria. As she is very good at that kind of stuff already, so I guess we're just going to do that. Okay, so let's exit. We are a little bit injured, but I think we should be alright. Ah, now the Donovans are demanding retribution. Apparently, I took the available racket building. 
<laughs> you know how much work I put into that racket? Ah, meet with me and let's see how you can write this wrong. Get lost. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm, t I'm saying to him, get lost, you know? He, he, w he just has to get lost right here. Okay, so Adam and Eve is over there. That's another... Another brothel, and there's another derelict building too. I think I'm probably going to just be literally going over and taking his brothel at this point. Oh, uh, look, there's another one. He made a casino? Ooh, I think I might like the casino. I think I will, uh, I will take that from him next. Sounds like a fun idea. Hello. Huh? Hello, uh, Ms. Guard. Let's fight. Assholes. Oh, this is going to be actually hilarious. Okay, so apparently whenever Maria goes into combat, she gains Overwatch almost immediately. And as a result, she's able to attack instantly, which is quite crazy. Let's kick some ass. All right, let's use Lion Tamer once again. Just do massive damage. And now she's stunned as well, which is uh, just basically icing on the cake. Let's do a melee attack. And boom, that's going to be it. Done. Easy. Ooh, stiletto knife. Oh, I like it. Oh, thank you very much. I will be using that. It has a plus 20% chance to critical and a plus 15% chance to inflict bleed. Very nice indeed. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that as much as I possibly can. Let's go into the casino. I'm going to literally just go in and attack straight away. This might be more difficult than I anticipate. But look at Maria already. She's already done massive damage. And that is all we really need her to do. She just she absolutely murders everything. It's crazy. Okay, so uh, I'm thinking... Ah, that guy. Mm, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here with Maggie. And I'm going to use Lion Tamer against this guy. Because I want to do as much damage as possible with these kinds of abilities. Anytime you can use an ability that takes basically 90% of an enemy's HP away, definitely want to use that. And then I'm going to use the shotgun blast to try and blow them both away. Yep, seems like that almost, that, that was almost the case. And now I can move Maria over here. And, that sh and, and these are basically the only guards in here, by the way. And there you go. Look at that. That's it. <laughs> Wizard oil, what's that? Ah, 50% chance to resist all negative effects for three rounds. All right, so we're going to take this over. It's going to be a casino. Thank you very much. We're going to be calling it... Ooh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, all, all I can think of now is the treasury for some reason, because that's exactly what the, what the thing is called. Shall we just um, try to do randomize a little bit? Paradise slots? Yeah, okay, Paradise Slots, sounds good, sounds good, why not? There we go, mission now completed, we gain a little bit of notoriety and everything, and we are getting a massive amount of cash as well, every single week. So, there you go. I couldn't help but notice your new buildings in South Loop, you planning on taking over? <laughs> yes, indeed I am. Alright, so I'm going to say we're both in this for the same thing, a little healthy competition never hurt anyone. Oh, yes. All right, so let's uh, exit. I now have 3,000 in cash, and we're only getting more. We're just getting more and more and more, and that's exactly what we want. Okay, a stranger handed you a note. It says, heard about you trying to get your foot in the door, eh? Well, listen up. Then Them lousy BOI punks are going to be busting in doors at the end of the month, and the big top is on their list. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So we've done this in the other series. If you've seen that series, then you know exactly what happened with that. And that actually, I think, worked out quite well. So maybe we want to do something similar to that effect. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to go and I will be taking this brothel first. Because I basically, what I want to do right now is I pretty much just want to completely negate his... Um, his ability to make money. That's literally all I want to do right now. And look at this. I'm going to use this to instantly kill this... Uh, instantly kill this guard right here. Boom. Look at that. Because of um, Maria's shoot-first mentality, we're able to pretty much get the drop on anyone at this point. And it is making everything much, much easier. Oh, look at that. Shoot-first didn't even go off this time because there were no guards nearby. That's kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? Alright, so let's move over here. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and use Lion Tamer to bring this guy over here, if at all possible. Yep, seems like that will work. Hopefully, we'll get a nice little stun on the guy, too. Yeah, there we go. We actually did get the stun this time. And I don't know where the other guard is. Where is the other guard? Oh, over there. Oh, actually, relatively far away. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm actually wondering what I should do with this guy then. Maybe we should just kill this guy? Oh, okay. 70% chance is apparently not good enough for old Hugh. Ah, lovely. Oh well, never mind. I guess I'll just take Maria over here and get her ready for a possible attack. And we're just going to put it, put her in Overwatch right here. Wow, massive Overwatch radius. Look at this. Yep, there we go. Unfortunately, not more than one hit, but that's good enough. Now, this guy does get an opportunity to now move. He's... Okay, he's not doing anything, apparently. Okay, that's kind of interesting. So, just going to go and take the knife. Go stabby stabby. 100% chance to hit, after all. I mean, how can I say no to 100% chance to hit, right? And then we're just going to move Mr. Hugh over here and murder this guy. There we go, 100% chance. Who can say no to 100% chance, right? All right, so there you go. Took that. Another wizard oil right there. Going to take it over. Going to take the brothel. Thank you very much. Dark Desires. That actually sounds pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to go with that name. Thank you. And then I will be indeed leaving. Where is the exit? Because we, we appeared over here, right? So where where's the exit? Uh, oh, over there. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's actually uh, kind of a, a relatively far distance. Oh, wait a minute. Where's... Um, Oh no, I left all my guys inside, yeah, yeah. So what you can actually do later down the line is you can continue to obviously get lieutenants and things like that. And then you can put these lieutenants wherever you want. They can act independently if you want them to. They don't all have to run around together. It is just what I'm doing right now to kind of show um, a bit of a united front against the Donovans at this point. Because if I don't do that, then we might have some issues you know we might have some issues okay so let's have a look maybe we can recruit some more people okay so we've got this guy who's a con artist i actually have no idea what that means so it might be something that we want to we want to go for bear in mind that our ai competition will also hire people um as you can see right here she this this woman right here has been hired and she's a doctor that would have been absolutely fantastic for us to have but unfortunately, um, someone else got to her first. So I'd actually like to see what this guy's all about. He's got good marksman skill, but he's using a shotgun. Not entirely sure whether I appreciate that. What else does he have? Uh, he's got decent leadership and so on. Uh, he has a minus 20% chance to become injured, which is, I suppose, pretty good. He is afraid, though. This person has a chance to flee from combat. Okay, I, I would assume that most people would probably be like that, but this is the thing. I don't really want him to take another 300 from the profits, but I do want to get another person to help us out. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just wait until we can get Mr. Tommy Biscuits. Oh no, actually, never mind. Apparently the Donovans have all already hired him. Well, that kind of makes sense. It's, I, th I feel like that's kind of thematically you know, suiting them quite a bit. So, oh well, never mind. Okay, I guess what we're going to do is we're just going to move over here. And they're actually attacking us with two guards. Maria's going to absolutely murder this guy. <laughs> you see? Oh my. Yeah, that, uh, that shoot first mentality of hers is actually crazy. All right, so we're just going to use Lion Tamer on this, on this one. We can literally pull anyone out of cover with this. And then... Basically, just, just kill them. Absolutely kill them. It's crazy. All right, let's go for another melee attack right there. Hopefully, it actually levels up her melee attack, to be honest. Don't know whether it really does. Oh, we've got another bunch of uh, guards over here. These ones are much higher tier than the ones that we're dealing with right now. So, this is actually maybe a bit problematic. I'm going to melee, actually. Oh, no, melee doesn't even do that much, unfortunately. Maria's not particularly good at melee, so 22% uh, chance. That's not very good, so I think I'm actually just going to move her over here, try and get a nice little flank going on this guy, and just murder him. There we go. Where is... um? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, I've actually... I've forgotten where Hugh is. 
Where's Hugh? He's not actually here with us. Well, that's a bit problematic, isn't it? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna basically just hunker down. And we're gonna wait for these guys to go a little bit closer. Technically, what I really want to do is I want to try and wait for Lion Tamer to come back because that just it just does so much damage that we uh, we could really use it. Um, not sure whether we should should we execute this guy or should we do something else? I I could potentially move like so and then get a nice little flank. Yep. That is a wonderful flank right there. It's it's only 41% chance, but we have a 41% chance with each shot. So I suppose it makes sense. There we go. We hit uh, we hit once, which I suppose is what I can really only ask for at this point. Okay, so two more turns. Two more turns. Okay, I guess I will try to shoot. Maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Maggie. Thank you for taking your time. Uh, not entirely sure what was going on with that. Okay, thank you. All right, so a little bit more. A little bit more. Thank you very much. Maybe you want to... Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was um, interesting. The, the, the slight delay on the shots there, but uh, at least one of them hit. That's all I really wanted to see. Okay. Oh, he's using a... What is that? Dynamite? Are you serious? Dynamite? Come on. That's a little bit... That's a little bit overkill for, for Ms. Maggie right there. Oh, well, never mind. We are still absolutely going to massacre this guy. Or at least I hope so. Uh, I guess we will. All right, Lion Tamer is about to come up, which is all we really want. And I'm thinking I actually don't know what to do right now. Uh, I could run back. Running back might actually make the most sense. So I think I'm actually going to do that. Oh, Maggie seems to be a bit bugged. <laughs> she seems to be a bit bugged with her animations at the moment. Bit weird. Not entirely sure why that's happening, but all right. And this one is now just ending their turn ahead of schedule. Kind of weird that they would do that. All right. Okay, so I'm now wondering what to do with Maria here because I don't really want to move her out into the middle of nowhere. Uh, kind of have to, though. That's the point. If I move her here, because where she is at the moment, technically they are counted as being in full cover, you see. In XCOM, this would not be the case. In XCOM, you would be flanking them at this point. But you need to actually be on this square to be uh, technically flanking them. So let's move here. Shoot them in the face. Ooh, good damage. Good damage. That was actually much better than I anticipated. And can I... Uh, no valid targets? Are you serious? Can I move here now? No valid targets. Are you serious right now? Understood. That there are no valid targets for Maggie? Okay, yeah. Oh, hair trigger. Oh, you're done. I think I think you're probably done. That guy is probably going to die now. Maybe. Look at how much Look look at the, you you see this? You see this? What 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 that's exactly what I was talking about, by the way. That is what I was talking about. Okay, so we're just going to go with the stiletto knife right here. Just let's go stabby stabby on this guard right here now. And take him down. And then we are going to be done. There you go. Okay, so where's Hugh? Because he, he was not with us and he needed to be with us right there. That was um, not very good. That was a, a lapse on my part, but it's okay because we're actually all right. Okay, so you took available racket building. You know how much work I put into that racket? Uh, no, get lost. Thank you. All right, so yeah, we're now going to have to um, probably move back to one of our one of our places. So I'm actually going to uh, just go and enter that real quick because we're going to need to restore our HP a little. Okay, yeah, uh, 
Yeah, don't ask me again. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. A much stronger start than what we had with Mr. Capone. And I'm very, very happy about that. I seem to be doing a little bit better this time. And uh, if you'd like to see more, then by all means, let me know. Like the video if you'd like to uh, do that. That really does help me out quite a bit. And otherwise, you can check out the game through the link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.